Hey guys, this is the EC Service Tech, and today what we're going over is some relatively inexpensive ways to increase the efficiency on an HVAC system. All right, so for the instance of an outdoor condensing unit, that's a two ton, which is 24,000 BTUs, 12,000 BTUs per ton. What you could do is you could step up the size of the evaporator coil, okay? What it's going to do is it's going to increase the surface area of the coil, whether it's an A coil or whether it's an N coil, all right? You're going to actually make the coil box larger. You're going to increase the size of the coil, all right? And what that's going to do, it's going to cost you a little bit in refrigerant. You're going to have to add a little bit more refrigerant into the system, which that's fine, all right? But uh, what it's going to do is it's going to give you more absorption of heat in the house, all right? You're going to be able to absorb more heat into the refrigerant to, in order to take it outside in order to reject it, all right? So that's one thing that you can do, and, and the reason you could do that is a lot of the TXVs are non-adjustable, and they're not just for one size condenser. So this one TXV might range from, say, uh, 18,000 BTUs, which is a ton and a half, to 36,000 BTUs, which is a three-ton system. All right, so what you need to do is you can read the model number or read what the uh, evaporator cool specs are if they come with a TXV installed. Otherwise, you're going to be installing one yourself. For that unit all right but uh so it wouldn't matter if this was attached to a two ton coil or a two and a half ton coil that txv from from you know would potentially be that same one for the system so you're actually able to uh absorb a little bit more heat from the house in order to take it outside so that's one way you can increase the efficiency for like i said relatively a low cost of the installer all right as long as you have room for your coil box that's all all right, then the other thing is the suction line, all right? In the case of a five-ton outdoor condenser, it makes quite a huge uh, efficiency increase if you step this line set up from seven-eighths to inch and an eighth, all right? The connections here on the evaporator coil and the outdoor condensing unit a lot of times are seven-eighths. So you actually have to use some uh, um, reducers in order to re uh, reduce from inch and an eighth back down to seven-eighths, all right? Inch and eighth is bigger, it's harder to bend, but it's, it's definitely worth it for the efficiency in order to, to run your vapor line, okay? Um, so in the case of a five ton condenser and a five ton evaporator coil, I would recommend always running inch and eighth vapor line. It, it really increases the efficiency quite a bit. And the reason for that is, you know, it increases the area inside for the vapor to get back to the condensing unit. Uh, you're going to have to add a little bit more refrigerant to the system, but this vapor line doesn't usually carry that much refrigerant compared to the liquid line. Usually it's about 10 times more refrigerant in the liquid line than there is in the vapor line while running. All right, it's going to be a little less when it's the inch and eighth line. It might be seven times more refrigerant in the liquid line, uh, but it's somewhere around in that area. All right, but what happens is the friction in the line. If you have a smaller line for the vapor to run uh, in back to the compressor, then it's going to then it's going to be less efficient, all right? So if you have a larger pipe, it's actually going to have uh, less friction for the vapor to get back to the compressor, when the compressor is sucking the vapor in and then pushing uh, the high pressure, high temperature uh, vapor refrigerant out, all right? So uh, in the case, say, of a two-ton system, a uh, two-ton condenser, you could put maybe a, um, a two-and-a-half-ton um, coil right here, all right, evaporator coil. And you'd step this up from five eighths to three quarter. All right, you can put a three quarter vapor line in, and once again, that's quite a dramatic increase in efficiency. All right, so there's a couple things that you can do at a relatively low cost to increase the efficiency uh, for the homeowner. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AC Service Tech Channel.